Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, yesterday I was talking to you about what I op what I opened from um, my mail that I got from UPS and got my stuff from Young Living, and I overlooked my bottle of Thieves dish soap. So I wanted to share with you about the Thieves dish soap. Thieves dish soap here. Um, it says it's free from SLS, from dyes, from SLES, um, from formaldehyde, from phosphates, and from synthetic perfumes. The ingredients in it, if I can read the ingredients, that is, some of these words are like professor language. It says water. Oh, that's, that's the hardest word, probably. Water. Okay. <laughs> Decel, decel glusa, glusi, I'm sorry, decel glucosi, glucosi, sodium, luroil, lactinate, sodium olite, laurel glucide, sodium carbonate, caparyl glucosis, uh, Glucoside, citrus lemon or lemon peel oil, citrus bergamot peel oil, citrus le jade lemon oil, uh, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary are the oils that's in here. It says disperse a small amount of soap with warm running water and add additional soap if as needed. Um, one thing I've learned about Young Living Essential uh, Oil Infused Dish Soap from Young Living uh, that there's not that much suds. Uh, if you want suds, you need to add like baking soda or something to it. So at a later time, I will do my best to make a video with this Steve's Dish Soap and put the hack on it that we use so we have more suds in our in our laundry soap in our laundry soap, in our dish soap, by uh, putting the, uh, the, the Thieves uh, soap into a thing, into a pan, and then add your baking soda to it and melt it down until it dissolves it all the way out, and then put it in here. But I don't mind not having suds, but if you want suds, that's what you do. So if, if you want me to make a video of that, comment below. If not, then I'm not going to. I'll put this in the kitchen. Now price of that thieves oh I bent my page that's sad I like to take care of my stuff uh, the price of the thieves dish soap is let me find it here uh, thieves tea thieves dish soap Page 61. Okay, it says it's fourteen dollars and fifty cents for twelve fluid ounces. It says with naturally derived ingredients, thieves dish soap effectively cleans your dish your dishes without harmful chemicals, dyes, or synthetics, and young living pure essential oils, thieves, jade lemon, bergamot work with each other plant-based ingredients to leave your dishes sparkling clean. So that's what that is. Now I'm going to take my V6 oil from yesterday and my capsules and show you how I'm going to make one of my uh, supplements. So let's go in the kitchen and see what we can do. My back still hurts me. I got five hours of sleep last night when I started sleeping with my head on the foot of the bed. Let me lay this down here. Sit down. Oh, my oils are over here. Got all my cooking oils right here in this bowl. So let me sit down here and see if I can, can't find longevity. I need to make my longevity. 
to you. What do you got? It smells so good in this. Oh, I need that. Been looking for frankincense. There is longevity. That one hasn't been opened yet. I know I have one that's already open. I'm going to go ahead and open it and have two of them open, I suppose, because I don't want to take all day hunting for it. But I put 10 drops of longevity. Longevity, I know it's backwards. I apologize about it being backwards. But longevity, I can't do edit my videos right now because my phone is full and I can't edit until I make room on my phone. So let's put 10 drops of longevity in the vial. Capsule. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you take your, because this is a hot oil, you take this and fill it up the rest of the way, if I can do it without making a mess. With the, I'm going to do it this way, with the V6 oil. Uh, there we go. Nope, I closed it. I need to open it. There we go. Try to make it so you can see. There we go. And after you get it filled up with that, you close it, mix it up a little bit more, because the oil in it will mix together. And you take your water, and down the hatch it goes. Let me lay this down here for a second. Longevity is good for your complexion, very good for the skin. So put this in my mouth and work it. And since today is the first, sorry you can't see my face. Since today's the first, you, I take one every day, every morning, and it, after 30 days, I look at my face and I'll see a difference. Uh, after five days of not taking it. And then I just look in here at all these different areas of my face and see if it's improving any of the lines and sagginess or whatever. And if I enjoy it, I'll continue taking it next month. Now we're going to go into the bathroom and I'm going to mix up my laundry soap and my um, hand soap. So my laundry soap, I showed you that yesterday. It's right here. Take the lid off. I made homemade laundry soap a while back, and that's how much I have left. I'm going to add the laundry soap to it. I got my immersing, immersing blender right here. And I'll set it down in here and mix her up. This laundry soap here will last me almost a year. Put it down here. Let me show you. Take this, immerse it in here, fill it up.
It's almost full. I didn't want to dip it all the way down in there and make a mess. Then make a mess as it is. Okay, it's full. I'll let it here on my on my washer. And while that's relaxing, I'll go ahead and mix up my um hand soap. I have a towel, I'll dry my hands off here. And on the hand soap, all you need is one fourth cup. I gotta turn you so you can see what's going on. One fourth cup, you got a good knife. Got my knife right here, a little knife. Open this up. And since that hole's in top, remember the hoe I showed you? I poke a hole in that hole, so poke a hole in that hole, poke a hole in that spot. Whoops, made it too big, but it'll still work. And then I just pour my fourth of cup into here. I'm making a mess. I knew it was. I knew it was one too anyway. That smells amazing also. Okay, there's one ah one fourth cup of that. Put my lid back on. To refill this, you just open it up. Pour the soap in. Top it off with water. Don't overfill it. I'll probably fill it to about right here. Right there. Put my pump back in it. Now it's set. I can pump my soap out. Still make the suds like it's supposed to. Ugh. I make a mess, but there's the soap. You just put it underneath your soapy water, underneath your, your water, underneath your hands, underneath the soapy, in the soapy water, and wash your hands. And it's done. Now the dish the laundry soap, like I said, I'm trying to make it so you can see. It only takes, I don't have an HE uh, laundry thingy, so I'm going to fill mine up to there. But it only takes like that much or to here. Then you can, um, I'm moving all this stuff out of the way. Then after that, you'll be able to um, wash your laundry, which I have my laundry right here ready to be washed. So back you up. My blender is in the way. There we go. I can open this up now. Got the laundry in there ready. Pour this up in. And it's ready to wash. Put my lid back on. So, I'll leave a link in the description for a referral that you can come in and check out these Thieves products. The Thieves Hand Soap, Thieves Foam Hand, hand Soap, Thieves Laundry Soap. And thieves dish soap plus the v6 oil um, 
so you can check it out and read up on it anything that you might want to learn more than what I've told you already and if you have any questions and you want to learn something else or, or you're concerned about something please comment let me know I'll do my best to find the answer that I mean I don't I don't know everything if I don't know I know somebody else that might that can help me figure out the answer so you can understand uh, whatever questions you might have and uh, I guess if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and if you have friends who would like to you think would like to learn um, a better way of cleaning or this way of cleaning yeah. Uh, send this video to them let's share it with them so they can watch it and they can ask questions if they have them and I would uh, like it if you give me a thumbs up you know if you don't it's okay if you give me a thumbs down that's okay too at least I know somebody's commenting something and I guess I have nothing else for you until tomorrow and tomorrow's me my first talk on the immune system so I'll do my best to give you a nice talk on the immune system and see what all we can learn together so I'll see you guys tomorrow and you have a wonderful day ta-ta